Hello, good evening. How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing fine. I've been having all kind of problem with this computer. I got my real good friend over there. He got me in Mississippi. He live over on the way. He helped me out with this thing. He took me the computer and fixed the problem. I didn't have no mute. I y'all y'all couldn't hear what I was trying to say a while ago. I don't know what. I can't see this computer very well. I can't. I mean, it's. I'm not complaining, but damn, it gets frustrating when you're trying to work and you can't see what you're doing. You know, I know there's a lot of blind people out here in this world that do really good, but damn, I'm old. And it's hard for me to do anything where I can't see. I know I can't talk too well. I understand that, but I may not be able to read my writing, but I can show right my reading. I know that. That's for sure. But I can't read because I can't see. All right. We're talking about the, uh, the eBay. Yep. We put our store on that 5% promoted listing, then we're going to see what happens. Um, I may be wrong, but um, it won't be the seventh time it'd be like 17,000th time um I um have been selling stuff out of my storage working it on out but um I've had a I just been it's been crazy and uh mama she's doing alright but she's got leg problems and I'll be up here working and next thing I knew I hear the front door open I got to run downstairs to see where she's going um and like tonight and it's happened like four times when the front door's opened and I run down there what are you doing she said I'm checking to see if the paper's here yet well it's 10 o'clock at night the paper came this morning I love my mama very much, but God Almighty, sometimes it gets rough. I mean, it really does. Um, but enough of that kind of stuff. But um, like I said, I put my store on 5% uh, promoted, and we'll see what happens. Um, I've sold a, a lot of stuff in the month of August, okay? A lot of items didn't make a lot of money but I moved a lot of items that had just been sitting in the storage just sitting there they ain't making me no money just sitting there they ain't doing nothing but cost me money sitting there so I've been trying to work through those um, I've had a couple good sales I sold a pair of jeans last night and I I don't know if I listed them wrong or whatever, but they sold within 15 minutes. So, oh well. I ain't, I ain't hurt nothing. I got my $24 plus $6.99 shipping, and I'm happy with that because all they were doing is sitting there in that box, you know. Um, we'll see how things go, you know. Uh, and everything I know I'm just rambling and all this kind of stuff because I'm just a rambling type person I can't help it um I'll tell you a little story about a little thing that happened to me this week uh access started Friday I had this uh had it on Craig had it on uh, eBay for a while on this Craigslist it a 500 watt Jensen uh car amplifier to make you go to boom boom to boom boom to boom 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 you know and the only time I listen to that kind of music is red lights and stop light or uh, stop signs and, and sometimes in traffic you know cause I don't have my ears it just don't the boom boom to the boom boom to the boom boom and I, I can't do the boom the boom boom you know, you 
on standby. Da boom, boom. All right. Um, so this guy, he got in touch with me. He wanted this amp. I had this amp on sale for thirty-five dollars. Okay. Um, I checked the eBay and. It wasn't selling that high, and I'd had it on there for a while, so I just threw it up there for thirty-five dollars. We talked a few times. He said he still wanted it and all this kind of stuff, and then he asked me if this is so good. Why do you got it listed so cheap? <coughs> Excuse me, I got that asthma. So I wrote him back and I said, I have absolutely no problem whatsoever with you paying me more than what I want. If you want to pay me whatever more than I want, I'm not going to complain, you know. And uh, finally he did show up and he bought it in the middle of the rain. I looked at the money and I saw a 20, saw a 10. I figured it was all there, no problem, so I put it in the pocket. Because they asked to come to me. I don't sell nothing. I don't. I can't drive, so I don't go nowhere and everything. And I think that has hurt me on thrifting tremendously this summer by not being able to go to garage sales or flea markets or anything because... I know what sells, and I've learned a lot about what sells. Um, but if you can't get to it, just can't get to it. Do the best you can. Um, which, you know, that's just just the way it is. Um, I think I sold right at 150 or more items the month of uh, August. Like I say, no big money or nothing like that, but, you know, it sells. Um, I should have bought more baseball bats. And I probably should have bought some more football bats, you know. And, and a question I have, they call these uh, baseball caps. question I have is, if I wear this baseball cap, to a football game, is it still a baseball cap or does it become a football cap? Logical, you know. I, I try to look at things in logical ways. Um, I hope everybody in Texas is doing fine. I hope Florida works out good. I live in the northwest part of Florida. And the way it looks, we're not going to have no problems from this hurricane, but that don't mean there ain't nothing behind it. And I don't care what that uh, professor said down there in Florida, that the only reason we have having hurricanes is because of Donald Trump becoming president. Now, that's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, he can't control the uh, weather. God does. You know? If we want to get hurricanes, we won't get hurricanes. It ain't got nothing to do with no human being whatsoever. It'd be nice if we could just stop. But that's not the way it works. Okay. But he finally, that guy came and I got to look at the money after he left me. It's $45. I sent him a message back and said, you should give me $45. And it was $35. I ain't heard a word from him since, so I don't know. <clears throat> but I've been pulling a lot of stuff out of the storage. I'm trying to get rid of that storage completely. Um, it's costing me a little over $200 a month to have the stuff in the storage when I have a garage down here that does need to be moved out. I need to get my sh shelving units out of the storage and do that and then I have this big room here and then another room in there where I keep stuff at so I, I got plenty of room for the stuff I just ain't been able to move it and 
I can't do a whole lot because I got in a wreck a couple of years ago and, uh, and uh, my back and everything ain't been working real well and and most of my get up and go done got up and went because I get just frustrated sometimes when I can't do anything. I mean, Lord help me if I lay my glasses down somewhere and forget where I laid them because then it's just touching to try to find where they at. And if I'm packing something and I take my glasses off and I lay my knife down or something like that sometimes it don't end good because I get stuck with a knife when I'm trying to do this and that's just not a good for you to get stuck with knife you know um, just like that fella I saw on that Jerry Springer show one time uh, he was a ninja hillbilly he says if you mess up and you do this, do the ninja chop and the ninja chop and you hit yourself in the leg. You mess your leg up and you ain't got one leg. And they just absolutely is no use for a one-legged ninja. You know, that just, that's what it says, you know. So, but uh, other than that, I'm just trying to, mama's doing pretty good. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can with what I got to do with, you know. Uh, please let me know if you like my videos I ain't made one in a long while because I kind of got the feeling that people didn't want to see my videos anymore uh, it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit and, oh, well hell, I get over it you know um, people don't want to see me that just leave a message in that comment we don't want to watch you no more simple you know give me thumbs down give me something you know no, i don't care you know if y'all don't want to watch me no more i'll be glad just walk away i've had people that i tried to make a live video one time and nobody seemed to want to have the old white haired man on their video show and if that's all right, that's that's the way it is, you know. Uh, I definitely don't want to be a bother to nobody. If I'm not, you don't want me to be on any of your shows, y'all y'all know who I'm talking about. I won't be on your shows. Obviously, y'all don't want me to be on your shows, or you would have asked me. So, I can understand that that means y'all do not want me to be on y'all videos so I won't bother y'all no more but God bless all y'all and hope y'all y'all doing good and being safe and everything and just one day I'll make another video maybe and one day I may not you know uh, some of these people make them every day but and that's good because those are people that want to be seen or no I take that back those are people that other people want to see and I just figure y'all just really don't want to see me no way um, do I have a lot of knowledge about eBay I think I do um, and do I have a hard time coming across with it to other people yes I do would it work a lot better if somebody was asking me questions and I was answering them? Yes, it would. The only problem is I can't read the chat. It's too small. I just I can't read the chat, so I have no way of knowing what it is. But uh, I guess I'm kind of depressed about things and. You know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, I don't know, you know. Sometimes I feel like I'm a hindrance to everybody and a worthless to everybody else. But 
what does it matter? You know, I, I don't know, you know, so I'm going to leave y'all alone right now. And, uh, I'm quite sure y'all done seen all me y'all want to see, so I'll let y'all go now. Y'all have a good day.